everyone, it's Clem from One Day and there's no mucking around this week. We're straight into something, so go and find yourself a space where you can stand up just like me. And before you do that, wait, you need to like and subscribe to this video and this channel. Okay, like and subscribe. Now, find that space. And all I'd like you to do is copy me. I'll tell you what we're going to be doing in just a second. So copy me, are you ready? No, don't, you don't need to copy that. Fine, fine, fine. Okay, did you do that? Wonderful, let's try again. Copy me. Oh, very, very good. Right then, now let's do it again. Copy me. Shake it off, shake it off, shake it off. Could you guess where we were just then? We were moving very slowly. Do you know? We were on the moon. And on the moon, there is much less gravity than there is on Earth. Gravity is the force that pulls us towards the Earth. Have you got that? Maybe you can practice doing some moonwalking later on. It's loads of fun, it's just like being in slow motion. I'm going to tell you what a force is in a second, so you better come back, alright? Stay where you are, go and find a seat, get comfortable, we'll be back with you in two seconds. Bye for now. <laughs> Told you I'd be back in just a second. Right then, a force in ten seconds. A force is simply a push or a pull. Here's something you can test out at home. Hold your hands up. I would like you to push your hands together. Push, 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 push. Good. Can you feel that force? Good. Now, curve your hand over. Link them together. And now, pull. Can you feel that force? That's all it is. A push or a pull. Now, I've got some facts, but I'd like to see whether you think they're true or whether they are false. So, true or false? True or false? Can you do that with me? True? Show me. And false? Wonderful. These are about forces. Now, some of you might know these. Some of you might not. But learn what's the facts once you know them. Big brain. Very big brain. Alright then. True or false? Magnets have four poles, north, south, east, and west. Is that true or is that false? Magnets have four poles, north, south, east, and west. What do you think? Well, it is, in fact, false. If you did that, well done you, fantastic. They only have two poles, actually. They have a north and a south, and these can cause Pushing and pulling forces. If you've got some magnets in your house, why don't you have a go? Or when you're back at school, have a little ask of your teacher then. Alright, next question. True or false? All metal is magnetic. All metal is magnetic. True or false? What do you think? It is, in fact, false. Not all metal is magnetic. Does anybody out there know which metal is magnetic? That's right, yeah, you. Well done. It is. It's, it's, it's iron. Iron is magnetic. How mad is that? It's only iron. So if there's any iron in any metal, it'll usually be magnetic. All right, then. Final question. True or false? A compass has a tiny magnet which always points north 
to help explorers find their way. True or false? A compass has a tiny magnet in it which always points north. What do you think? Show me now. <gasps> One of you out there is really right. Well done. It is true. It has a tiny magnet in it. And in fact, there are magnets all over the place. Now these magnets can create push forces and pull forces. All right, now you know a little bit more. We are going to see and explore what things in our house might have magnets. Maybe you can think of some already, <gasps> or maybe not. Join me in just two seconds and you'll find out. See you in a mo, bye. <laughs> Welcome back. I've got a scavenger hunt for you. What I'd like you to do is when it's time, I'd like you to go and find an object that has a magnet in your house touch it and come back, but don't go anywhere you're not supposed to. Mm. And always ask your grown-ups permission if you're allowed to do this game, all right? I'm only gonna give you 10 seconds, so be careful when you're going to touch them and then coming back, all right? So, magnets are everywhere, all around your house. Did you know that? They really, really are. I'm gonna give you some examples now. One of the places you'll find magnets is actually one of the things that you use most often. And maybe you're using one right now. Computers, tablets, mobile phones, all of them use magnets to help store information. If you've got one of those in your house, you've got 10 seconds to touch it now. Here we go, 10, don't get it, nine, eight, Seven, six, five, you're probably there already if you've got one in your hand. Four, three, two, one. Well done. Magnets, that's right. And they use push and pull forces. Right now. Our next hunt, are you ready? Did you know that magnets are also used in speakers? They are in these little Bluetooth speakers, also in your big stereo systems, it's likely to use magnets. You have 10 seconds to go and touch a speaker which might have a magnet in it. You've got 10 seconds, off you go. Now, 10, nine, eight, careful, seven, six, gotta get back to where you started, five, four, three, two, one, did you get it? Let's have a look. Give me a thumbs up. Yeah, well done, fantastic. All right, last one now, last one. This one might surprise you, it certainly surprised me. Something you use lots and lots, or maybe your grown-ups use lots and lots in their house to make a cup of tea. A kettle, a kettle. Still some water in there. A kettle uses magnets, and it really uses magnets in the click. Notice how I push it up and it comes back down. A magnet is forcing that to happen. And it clicks off because the magnet engages when there's enough boiling water. You've got 10 seconds to go and find your kettle. Touch the part that has the magnet. You've got 10, nine, eight, Seven moon mimes, six, five, four, three, two, one. Did you make it back in time? Well done, you. Right then, to finish up, I'm going to ask you three questions, and I want to see if you'll get these right. So stay with me. Bye bye. Welcome back, three questions, shoot, I go, and you answer. How many poles does a magnet have? Does it have four or does it have two? It has two, well done. That next question, can you get this one? Name something in your house that has a magnet in it. If you can name more than one, I'd be very impressed. What? Well done, fantastic, and last question. Difficult one, this one. What is the force that keeps us on the ground? There's not much of it on the moon, if you remember. <gasps> Can you know what? It's called gr gr 
Gravity, well done you. Now if you know any of those three questions, you've done brilliantly, but if you can't remember all three, go back, watch again, have another go. Don't forget, like and subscribe to this channel. My name's Clem, I've been from One Day Creative Education. Thanks for coming along, I'll see you again soon. Bye! <laughs>